Hello, and welcome to 1020 for duty. Welcome to get back to more Kirby's Adventure for the Nintendo Wii. Last time, we did the first two stages here in Nutty Noon. And in this episode, we're going to be doing the third stage and potentially onwards as well. And something of a little bit of a note to talk about with Nutty Noon. It's two things about this area. One... It's not even noontime right now, it's actually 5 minutes to 8 in the morning. That's the time I'm doing this recording right now. And secondly, can I just say how incredibly nuts it is that I'm actually doing a Kirby game on my birthday? Yeah, I am actually not kidding. Today is my birthday. I just turned 25. I know nothing really too special about that, and I have actually announced my birthday on random videos I've done every year apart from last year, but to be honest, it's not really a problematic issue, really. I mean, everybody has a birthday at some point. I just, for some reason, like, in, like announcing my birthday being a certain day. I don't get why. I guess it's just a happy feeling or something. Like... You know it's a special day for you, and you just believe that everything is going to be, um, a good day for you, and that nothing is going to go poorly wrong or something. Oh, okay. I thought killing that guy was actually going to give me a power up. No, it don't. The reason why I thought that guy gives me a power-up is because there is a power-up in Kirby Triple Deluxe that gives you Archer. That's basically what I thought it was. Right, where that one for a trouble. So yeah, I'm not personally going to be gloating about my birthday being as what it is, because I honestly can tell that no one is particularly a fan of people who gloat about their birthday all the time, thinking that they're really special and everything, because there are moments where people might be more special than others, and I'm not just saying I'm special because of the fact that I have um, learning difficulties and autism. I'm not saying that at all. Everybody is special in their own way. And that's what we've got to be appreciative towards. Right, okay, some cannon trying to shoot it off. But. Oh! They're getting blown right into one there. It almost looks like it's somebody's fortress, not gonna lie. I mean, it kind of would make sense with all the cannons placed where you would expect it to be. Um. Ah! Right, okay. Moving platforms. Duly noted, that's actually not going to be a good thing to... Right, okay, just food. I don't think I need that for the next room, so onwards we go. Right, okay. Stone is here for a reason, we're gonna take it. Ow. <coughs> Alright. Right, just slide down the slope. Come on. 
There you go. At least it gives you a time to actually pick up the key. Right, there you go. First, first energy sphere. I will admit, I'm not personally the best in the world when it comes to um, those races. I'm going to take Beam back because I believe I do actually need it. Yep, especially... Oh, God. Especially when doing this. Right then, um, let's have a look. Just have a look around the place. Oh, jeez! <laughs> right, there's something hidden behind that guy. Ah, okay. Yeah, an easy energy sphere if you take your time. If you rush it, you will, no question about it, get eaten a bunch. Right then. I'm not sure if this is going to be like an ultra-dimensional level like it was in the previous stage. Oh, God. Oh, is this actually the level I was thinking of last episode? Where you get introduced to high jump. I think it is. Because it was this moment where... I think it was the runaway guys. They had Emil being Kirby using high jump. And then... There was an energy sphere to be found. Yeah, there. Ah. Um. Well, I'm in trouble. Oh, I, oh no, no, not. I can just fall down. Right, let that restock. Ah, oh, almost. I, oh. <laughs> Right, I don't think I can fall down that one. There we go. That's what Emil did, but Tim, who was Nintendo, well, Nintendo Capri Sun using um, King DDD, he used a particular button where if you're playing multiplayer in this game, you can press a button if you're player two or player three to teleport to a particular player. And he pressed that button to teleport towards a meal, and he stole that energy sphere from him. That's what I was thinking of in my head. Wow, I was just going to use high junk so that way we don't have to worry about getting hit at all. There we go. I don't know if high jump is actually important for this bit, but I'm going to use it. That's what I was worried about. Oh, God. Ah. All right. We escaped. Get rid of those Bonto birds. That's actually the name of those enemies. I actually never acknowledged the enemy of those Bonto birds. I've never acknowledged them. Oh! Sneaky! I knew there was one particular level that did something like that. Ice cream growing in the clouds. That's kind of weird. Alright then. That's a two. Oh no, that's one. Just barely got it.
All right, onwards to the fourth stage. And just to make absolutely sure that I am not... Um, oh. That I'm not um, going crazy. Because uh, last level, I said that we was going to be battling the boss after beating stage four, and we ended up having a fifth stage. Yeah, there is a fifth stage. Okay. Because I knew... Because I'm not going to lie, when we was doing level 4, I actually thought that we were indeed going to be battling the boss, but I was sorely mistaken. Right. Thanks for the boost. Alright, there we go. Refill. Yeah, I'm actually getting better at using this boot now. Right, there we go. First energy sphere, and we don't actually need that boot anymore. We can just leave that there. Right, I think I probably should have picked up beam there. Oh well. I can always replay the level in my own free time. Right, just wait. Sometimes it's always key to actually be careful than carefree. Like, if you know you can move, move. But if you want to play it safe, that's perfectly fine, because that's something I would personally do. Right, on with go. Fire or ice? Hmm. Does anybody feel like Katy Perry right now? Are we hot or are we cold? Yes or no? In, out, up, drought. I know it's actually doubt, but whatever. I'm not really much of a singer. Hey, super bonkers again. Ow. There you go. Engulf myself. Oh, no. Nope. That works for a little bit. Right, there we go. We get the Grand Hammer once again. Onwards to get the last energy speed of the level. Grab some food for our trouble because we, Lord knows we do need it. Right, if you actually... Something I probably should have paid attention to the very beginning when we used um, the Grand Hammer last time. When you see those glowing stars indicating that you can actually use your ability there. For the Grand Hammer, you saw this guy had two stars. You need to shake the hammer to get to at least stage two in order to defeat that um, item. So see here, this one requires two. But if I used one, you see, it only knocked it down a tiny bit. 
but if I used two, it would have actually sent it down all the way first try. Many people don't really tend to like notice that. Oh, because we always shake it to the highest level one. Ow. Right, okay, um, some hazards to watch out for. We're almost running out of our ultra bases, we've got to get a move on. Oh, that must have hurt Kirby. <laughs> Yeah, ring that bell, there's the Ultra Dimension. <laughs> Just flying, because they're not dealing with uh, moving platforms. Especially when there's an insta-kill wall following you from behind. <laughs> Right, Grand Waddle D, I'm probably going to declare that one. Oh, 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 that was risky. I didn't even know that that was going to try and crush me. I got lucky there. All right, there's the door. Damn it! One downside about flying. You have, when you land on the ground, you have to stop to take a breath. Just doing it. I know, I know. Once again, I did not think that was going to crush. I thought it was going to stop where it was. Oh dear. Alright game. You kind of made your point. But to be honest. When you're playing a Kirby game, you would expect everybody to do this. Just be cheap. With Kirby's ability to infinitely fly, what else would you expect them to do? There you go. Whoa, okay. Alright, this time, not getting crushed. In the door we go. Whip and spear. Um, I think I'll take spear, because whip is not really good for fighting bosses with. Then again, neither is spear, honestly. Their fighting patterns are exactly the same, I seem to noticing. There we go. Right, onwards to the end of the level.
Uh, actually, you know what? Screw it. We're taking fighter ability. <laughs> Just the fact that we're actually pushing a block and making cake out of it. Kind of weird. But there we go. We've beaten the next two stages of Nutty Noon. In the next episode, we're going to be beating stage five and also the boss. See you guys then.